Okay, today's video is very personal. It's um, it's an element of stoicism, and that element is courage. And uh, had massive, um, got massive family changes at the moment. I haven't mentioned this yet, but on last Saturday um, we spent all Saturday moving down to London to take Alex to his new accommodation. Um, my beautiful son. He's 22, um, breaking my heart, but he's moved to London. He's got a job in Chelsea and uh, he's living out in the northwest of London. And I used to work down there and do property valuations and I'm so delighted he's, he's chosen accommodation. He's sharing with a great friend of his from uh, school and I'm just delighted that he's safe. So he's very, very safe in the area. It's a great area. Only half an hour by tube into uh, the Chelsea area and he's just got a fantastic job. He's flying out to Stockholm on Monday. He's got a training program with his new company. I won't obviously share any details, but guys, I'm the proudest dad ever, ever, uh, like we all are. And obviously Shell is very, it's very, not bittersweet, but she's very emotional because it, it Alex is his mummy's boy, uh, like I was with my mum. And that's what I want to touch on today. It's not for, you know, for sympathy or for, I don't know, whatever you want. It's not for like, oh, poor Alex, poor me. Uh, just a quick story. When I moved to London in 1983, um, I'd applied for a job in December 82. My boss had been saying to me, Alex, you've wasted here. You know, you're not prepared to do any more exams. And all my friends had moved to London. Liverpool at the time was going through a bad spell um, politically. Um, I say, if you want to look check on that, it was going through a horrible time. It wasn't a nice place to live in politically and also um, financially. It was run by a council called Militant, I think it was. God, you know, I can't remember that far back. And uh, everyone said to me, I'll get out. Go long story short, I got a job in, um, got a transfer to, no, not a transfer, I got a promotion to London. Um, very, very close to my mum, like Alex was. My mum was 44, I was 24. He's 22. Um, yeah, so very, very similar story. And four weeks after I'd moved to London and made that big break, sadly, my mum passed away. She uh, was a heavy smoker. She was just an incredible woman. If you're from the UK, my mum was a bit like Elsie Tanner off Coronation Street. A very fiery character. She was a great woman. She, My dad died when I was nine, so I was the eldest of four. There was me, Teddy was... Sorry, Julie was eight, Teddy was seven, and young little P Peter, my youngest brother, was two. Um, I had a very traumatic time. My mum was only 29 when uh, my dad died, would you believe? So she had four kids to bring up in a, a working class area of Liverpool. And so I'd been very, very close to my mum. I'd gone through the uh, grammar school education, uh, did quite well and I had lovely support from my mum and I was like the, obviously because I was the oldest of the four, I was like, um, I don't know, I just helped mum out with everything. So it's long, cause long story short, she passed away four weeks after I'd moved to London. I was devastated, it was just, it nearly destroyed me. I just wanted to come back up to Liverpool but all my family rallied round, all my friends and said, stay where you are and it was the best thing I did. And so all this, all that trauma at the time, you know, it made me grow up overnight I was probably very immature until that particular episode but uh, Alex moving down to London we were driving down last weekend I got really emotional and even before we set off we were all t in tears in the house and um, but it was so I was so so proud of him obviously I can't get upset now I was just so uh, exhilarated but also so it was I was exhilarated, but I was a bit, just a bit concerned that it, it might not work out for him because he's very, very close to his mum and me, and uh, he's a homeboy. And uh, but he's got this fantastic opportunity. He could be working um, worldwide soon, the way he's going on. And I just think he, I think he knew how much my move to London affected me. But I'm just so blessed and so grateful that he's had the courage, okay, the guts to move down there. So obviously with the wonders of technology, we've been FaceTiming and uh, doing WhatsApp videos and being in touch with him every day. It's going really, really well. 
and I'm just delighted that he's settled down so quickly uh, with one of his best friends, obviously from school. So I think they've known each other since they were five, and so everything's going really well. So it's just me and Shell at home at the moment, a carnivore and a keto. <laughs> and obviously I've lost a son, but I've gained a Bengal cat. So there's me, uh, I'm a carnivore, um, <laughs> Patsy's an obligate carnivore, and Shell's. Um, Shell is unintentional keto. So yeah, complete changes at home, guys. And um, and one thing that's going to be different, he's not going to be eating all my steaks. So um, it's going to be a massive difference at, at home. But uh, I just thought I'd share that, guys. Uh, obviously, with all my subscribers uh, who've been following me and supporting the channel, you know how sensitive I am. So big changes at home. Uh, very emotional carnival today. And uh, I'll keep you posted. And I, I know some of you have been obviously talking about my family, and I, I am grateful for all your support, guys. It's so it's so sweet of you, and I do appreciate it so much. So not much to talk about uh, with the carnival diet. I am gonna go back onto line in March. I have put a couple of pounds on, I can feel it. I haven't actually weighed myself, but I might do that today. So I'm just gonna get some supplies from Stanton's and uh, try and put some videos together this week. My, um, that was then and this is now short, has gone down really, really well. I've been on Google Photos getting all my old photographs and I, guys, I still can't believe how big I was. Oh, and you know, I know I said on another video, why didn't somebody tell me? Why didn't I tell myself? I just could not see how big I'd gone. And as I say, when you do lose as much weight as I've lost and you obviously improve your health so much, it just invigorates you so much, guys. And when I'm in ketosis, which I think I am at the moment, because you can tell I'm just rabbiting on and on, it's just like putting new Duracell batteries in. You just feel electric and uh, long may continue. Okay, so the guys who are following my channel, guys, thanks again for your support. I'm nearly on 3,000 subscribers. Uh, guys, I just can't believe that. It just blows my mind. So if you are just watching today and you're just interested and you want to check out some of my videos and my shorts and see how I've got on, I'm on over... Yeah, guys, I'm on 22 months as a carnivore. Uh, if you check out my videos, you'll see uh, I've been on an incredible journey and uh, long may it continue. Yeah, so if you haven't already, please like my videos if you don't mind. Please like the video, uh, subscribe if you don't mind, uh, press the notification bell and you'll get the updates. And uh, and please put down any, uh, and please add some comments. I love all the comments, even if they are critical, as long as it's constructive, I'll always respond. Um, all, the, all the nasty comments they probably get, uh, I shouldn't even bother, but I do sometimes put a bit of a sarcastic comment on. And... Uh, maybe have a bit of troll tennis that's quite fun but uh, anyway guys i'll finish there thanks for all your support uh, whatever you are have a great day uh, have a great night and take care thanks